Oh my man, a real wow. Hey, Kogi elections. I heard that all the roads to Natasha Apoti. Hey, Natasha is here. Make sure she can't give us the gist herself. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let me bring my sister Natasha Apoti live. Oh boy, election for Nigeria and a World, World Cup. Oh. Hi, Natasha. How are you doing, my sister? I'm fine. I'm fine. At least we thank God for His mercies. Yes. So, so we thank God for the support and prayers from good, uh, like for the good Nigerians. My regards to Chief and the baby. How's the baby? It's fine. He was here. He just went to his room. I'm oh. here with him in the village. <laughs> hey. So what happened? I hear say government go break road. Is it true? It's true. Um, how it went was, um, it started two nights ago. At about 11 p.m., I got a call from someone who works in the Ministry of Works, Kogi State. Hmm. He told me that, look, they have been mobilized and instructed to cut off some roads. And then I asked, which roads? Send me your location so we can get the police there. The next thing we didn't hear from the person, his lights were switched off. So we woke up yesterday morning at about 8 o'clock. Hey, network, network, network. This is not the time for you not to walk. Three roads were cut off. Three yeah. roads. And then the gentleman called me back and I asked him, why didn't you send your location? We were going to at least send a team to stop the excavation of the roads. And he told me that all their phones were seized. That the moment they saw him make a call, the construction, the person in charge who supervised the construction seized off all their phones and that indeed they walked all night cutting three roads. So um, we got the pictures, we started making uh, some publications about it. And then we were told again that they had moved to a road near mine, which was making the fourth road. At that point, I got some of my supporters and I went there and I made the live video. When I got there, they ran the video. They had just finished excavating by the time I got to site and I made my live video. And then we have, we do have, I do have some construction equipment here at home. So I took a payloader over there and refilled it. Just put, put the sand back so that it would be at least more durable. They didn't stop there. They went to another road which connects my village to Ondo State. It's called Ihima Ayere Road. They cut that road off again. And they finished uh, excavating that road at about 9 p.m. last night. Coming. And so by as early as 5 a.m. this morning, we went in there and we covered that road. So we have covered two roads remaining. We are waiting um, when it's a bit much later. Um, we're expecting some security officials so they would accompany the vehicles there so we can cover the road. The reason why we must cover these roads is because it will pose a difficulty for tomorrow's election because INEC office is just there in a town called Obangide and I have been cut off from Obangide. So Obangide's INEC serves my community, Ihima. Hmm. And I will tell you this, ever since these roads have been cut off, since yesterday and throughout today, it's been difficult for people to commute to go to work. For people, you know, these petty traders who usually spend 15 naira transporting themselves, they now have to go around the other local governments, which will take almost like 40 minutes or one hour to get their products to the market. So life hmm. has been very difficult for people in my communities since yesterday and today. In short, when I called the DPO um, of my community, he couldn't leave. He said, Natasha, I can't access you because the road has been cut off. And what does that mean? That in times of danger, my community, I'm cut off from um, security services. And um, yeah, because of this, we had to go around. Uh, we made them, uh, um, we put the information out. And I'm so glad with the amount of shares we received and concerns. And you know what? It's funny how the state government put out a statement acknowledging this, that they actually cut the roads, and they said that was a security measure. My brother, Daddy Freeze, who cut How the How do you cut the road? Of security? Like, okay, that means, with due respect to our fellow evil brothers, 
That means because of the IPOP crisis, we should blow up the uh, Onisha Bridge. Okay, because of the uh, Boko Haram insurgency in Adamawa for new states, we should cut off all the roads. Because of the In fact, to make Lagos safer, we should we cut Todd Milan Bridge. We should blow exactly. We should blow up all we should shut down all schools because of bullying. Who does that? As a matter of fact, cutting roads breeds insecurity. And let me tell you. Out of these five roads, two of them are federal highways. Two of them are federal highways. So you're here below actually hot federal highways. Like, it's not mild cut, you know, deep gullies. Like, if you put in a car, a car will actually sink in. And my fear is that the rain's about to start now. Believe me, if, you know, I told you, we just put in some sand. This These roads need urgent attention because they won't be much able during the rainy season, I tell you. Mm. Come on now, wow, now, wow, now, wow. I never hear this kind of thing before since my mama born me. How about the security agencies? Yes, we call, we notified the the chief of uh, defense staff, we notified the DSS, we notified the inspector of police. Everybody's aware. When they call the governor, the governor puts a pose that this is his state, he is the chief security officer, and they should allow him to do what he thinks is best to secure his people. Do you understand? So he puts a fund that now prevents the national, the headquarters, all the state service chiefs from acting and accepting his actions. And that's terrible. Whatever it is, however the constitution is drafted in that, we must review it. Because I don't think a governor should have absolute control. That means to kill whoever he wants to kill in the state because he's the chief security officer and he determines who is a terrorist. Okay, you know what? About four days ago, there was a bomb blast in my same community about uh, 10 minutes ago 10 minutes 10 minutes i would drive from here a bomb blast that destroyed the treasury of the okehi local government secretariat now what i got to know is that allegedly oh, most people feel that it was yaya Bellows and his wounds that set up the bomb to blame me they thought i was going to be in town at that point but i just arrived turned the pd the fashion had pdp supporters about the bomb blast so he's saying that because of that he has cut off the roads around me. But let's say this. There were two bomb blasts last year in Okene. That is the governor's town. One is the famous bomb blast at the Ohinois Palace. I'm sure you're aware of it. When the day before President Buhari visited Okene to commission some projects, there was a bomb blast at the palace that destroyed part of the palace and killed three people. Why didn't you have been cut off the roads in Okene? Hmm. Right. There was another bomb blast earlier last year doing some traditional, uh, some cultural display. There was a bomb blast in Semokini. Why didn't he cut off the 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 roads there? Why did he have to cut off the roads two days to election and the roads are still like we're just twelve hours away from the election and the roads are still cut off three main roads. So is that how to copy security? Well, to me, I just keep saying that by Yahya Delos' actions, he keeps exposing his inadequacies. Nigerians are now beginning to see how he has run for his state. Little wonder EFCC is after him. Little wonder five of his relatives are right now chilling in Kujie prisons while his wife is on the run. His and wife? Yes, his wife is also at large. The lady who acts as the first lady, didn't you read that? Go to EFCC's website, you'll see. She's actually wanted for money laundering. Money laundering. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh wow. This Kogi State come past every other place for Nigeria. I can't begin the week. I tell you, and we're such a great state. We have such beautiful personalities. We're extremely blessed and with the resources, but we have been unfortunate with leadership. And I pray that we're gonna get it right. So I'm hoping that it starts with my victory. So everybody I'm praying that by this time tomorrow that it frees. <laughs> I can't wait to be victorious because I'm going to be a strong, purposeful voice, not just for the people of Kogi Central, but the entire country. I, hmm. tell you, I trust you. I serve. Nigerians will know that I just actually feel the impact and the presence of a very effective, knowledgeable, and competent senator. Hmm. I tell you this. <laughs> I'm actually waiting. I'm so excited. Um, 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 I'm a bit worried. Uh, I know a lot of good people from Kogi State, like you, Dino Melaye. Uh, what is Senator Dino saying about this? Honestly, I saw his text message yesterday, and Natasha, what am I hearing? I tried to call him back after two hours. 
I couldn't reach him. Till mm. now, I've not spoken with him. But I did speak to a lot of people like Senator Tunde Beha. He was able to reach the, you know, some top people and the security agencies. Uh, we have quite a lot of um, influential people here. Well, not even in politics, some SANs, um, some diplomats, and they have all been of great support. Mm. Everyone, beyond party platforms, we have people from Labour Party, from even APC themselves who have said, Natasha, you know what? We might differ politically, but we are with you on the same political ideology and we stand. We apologize for our governor's mis misactions. Mm. So many of them in the state are not even with him, I tell you. Mm. And the rumors you keep hearing that he's not with Tinubu's camp, it's true, they don't want him in Tinubu's camp. Yes, he's not with him. I'm telling you, yes. It's oh, a, wow. Honorable um, <laughs> Paliki is actually leading Tinubu's campaign here. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yabelo. He's just trying to push himself in. No, but have you ever seen pictures of himself? Oh, have, when last did you watch any video of Yabelo attending the presidential rally, Tinubu's presidential rally? He's never invited now. <laughs> oh wow oh wow i'm learning i'm learning a lot now guys um natasha is married though and she has a baby because people are saying oh, natasha they yes, enter my please. eye make chief no con carry you because when i called natasha to check up on her hey natasha how are you what's going on come 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 let's go live chief said where are you going i had to give i had to say she's coming to my live oh she's not going anywhere oh. okay let me even <laughs> This is my village. For those of you who have wondered about, who have heard about Ibera land, we actually have a very beautiful landscape. So this is my village home. Let me show you outside. I always should take you around. This is my veranda. We made like a little garden, a sit out. Woo! So I'm saying this because once I become a center, I'm going to invite all of you here to tour. This is my community here. This is our sit out. I must see us everywhere be like, like London, small Dubai. Yeah, it's very we made it it's beautiful and this is a hill which we are going to make like a hiking spot can you see the room oh i need to, i wish i can show you this is all a hill behind here so mm. which we actually own we acquired the hill about five years ago we want to make it like a resort in future so that when the good people of nigeria come to visit me we'll have like kids of cabanas on the hills like it is in kenya so they visit. now let me take you to my son so <laughs> Do you know I've not I, I I think I've only seen him on social media. Huh? I've only seen him, you know, each time I call you, we never get to do video call. Yes. So this is the first time I'm seeing you face to face in like a year. What is it? This is my son's room. Where is he? Hi Ray. Hey, Oimbo Pepe. Now chief, now chief, he resemble, you know, resemble you, come on. You know resemble me. Where is Chief? Let me look for his trouble. <laughs> Hello, gorgeous. Hey, the boy too fine. Oh. All your children are fine. But this one collects small from Chief. Make I where is Chief? Where is Chief? Make I look for in trouble small. Chief. Okay, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> The cut road is like, still no stop anything. I go around campaigns with my baby, with my son. Mm. Even my other kids, when they were on holiday, they followed me for campaigns. Because it's important they understand our political culture. I'm going around, I walk in this place. So my, my hometown, Ibrahim is very beautiful. Just don't. Find I think I've been there before there. once. Hold on. Are they in here? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we are going. This is still my village home. We have little, a lot of chalets for visitors. Oh, my man, see house for hello. village. Hello, everybody. That the first one is to say hello to you. So these are my political leaders. I'm actually looking for chief. This is my party chairman, my uncle take over. This is the House of Assembly candidate on a We are live. I just are watching you. This is a House of House of Reps candidate on a party. This is uncle. Okay, Sally, who is my father's best friend. And this our party chairman is my uncle. <laughs> so they are here having a meeting. Where's Chief Please. <laughs> Oh, and I'm looking for him. He needs to say hello to Nigeria so they know that, so they understand what a supportive husband is. Yes, so 
And so he will see where Daddy Free is carrying his wife to. Sure, you see where I carry your wife go. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy for you. I wish you all the best. Hi, Sasha. Wow. 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 You know, you know when I called you, Natasha, I expected you to be sad. When I called you, I expect, but I can see you are all in um, high spirits. You're happy. They cannot break you. They cannot break you. I'm happy because against the odds, the support I enjoy from my community from my political party, mm. both at state and national level, and from my family is enormous. And that is what everybody, every politician mm. needs that. And because I know that I've done a lot of groundwork. Mm. Hold on, let me catch my breath. I've done a lot of groundwork. I've always been committed and connected to my people. Well, as a social entrepreneur, I'm a philanthropist. So I've built a track record that people know my word. They know that I'm not just coming in to just be available shortly before politics. No, I've always been part of my people's lives. Hmm. And so, yeah. And, and, and that is it. Now, for a lot of people who don't know the extent of what happened, this is what they did to the road. This, That's just one of the roads. This is one of the roads. In fact, I should go to your page to get clearer footage from your page. Yeah. You know? Because this 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 is this is this is kinda it's kinda scary. Should I send you should I go to WhatsApp and send you some now, Vicky? Yes, please, please send to my WhatsApp so I can I can show them. Please, right now. People need to see this. Man, huh? Um, Nigeria, they play politics. Our politics, they different from any other politics in this whole world. As in, we they break rude. Um, she's sending the videos already to my WhatsApp. Um, can you people see? YouTube, can you people see? Government. Now, these are government roads. How does the government... Look at another one. Who is going to pay for the repair of these roads? I'm a person who can cast boy for inside the road. Ah, uh, ah, uh, now, wow. Now, wow. Now, wow. Please, if you're watching on TikTok, help me reach my target. Um, everybody, my number one gifter is babes. B for B E double -S, S. Follow her right now. Uh, whoever is my top gifter will get follows on um, TikTok. So please join me live on TikTok and watch uh, and send me your gifts. Um, Shady, see, while I'm waiting for Natasha to come back, she you see, I spent some to spoil inside the road. Romeo, what's going on? How are you doing? Send me gifts on TikTok. Okay, Natasha is back. If you're enjoying the live, go to Facebook, search for Daddy Freeze, D A W D Y F R W E Z E. Scroll to today's video. You will see me with this cap and buy stars to support my channel. So go over to Facebook right now, search for Daddy Freeze, D A W D Y F R W E Z E. And you will see Daddy Freeze. Scroll to today's video, click on the video, and send stars. I'm healing all of you now. Big shout out to Abdulaziz Fatimat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Awesome stuff. So, was that somebody's car that got ruined on the road? Yes, that, that was one of them. 
one of the three roads that were dug in the night. So that person was driving about 5 a.m. before the day broke. And he didn't know that uh, <laughs> the uh, gully has been dug and he drove right into it. They've just taken the life, but don't worry, it's going to come. Don't worry, it's Nigeria. Not, they even take it from where me I'm doing live, Seth. <laughs> Can you see? Yes. Can you see the road? You can see the mountain at the end of the road. That's the that's the yes. refuge. So how do people go about their business? That's what I say. Life has been very difficult for our people in our communities. Actually, two local baby freeze that is babes. Kehi and Adabi have been. Hello, can you hear me, Daddy? I can hear you clearly. I can hear you clearly. Very difficult. Even children couldn't go to school yesterday. I tell you. So because you know um, that road. Like from my place, Ihima to Obangede is just ten minutes mm. with without the gully. But now with that gully, we have to. It's going to be like a forty minutes or one hour journey because we have to go round. And you know, my my uh, state is very hilly, so yes. you can't just take a bypass. Like it's very difficult to go round, and that's what we are facing. But like I said, um, we're just waiting for some security officials, and then we'll go cover the roads up. Because mm. we need this road connected so that INEC can conduct the elections timely. So but INEC can neck. Is that if the INEC is to take Okene, that's where the governor's town is, they will be intercepted and the materials will be hijacked. And we don't want that to happen. So we must fix this road so that INEC will have multiple rows which mm. us. Come to my and room, Amara. As well. No, no. Hmm. Wow. It's quite draconian, it's barbaric, it's anti-democratic. Mm. That is it. And mm. I don't think uh, the federal government should fold its arms and watch a governor take laws into his hands. Now, because now, now, who's supposed to repair the, the roads? Uh, who's supposed to repair? It should be the government now. No. Who's... Let's just watch and see. Let's, I don't know, like... Okay, because, okay, okay, let me ask you a question. You are into road construction, if I remember correctly. Yes. How much do you think it will cost to repair those roads? Give me an estimate. Nothing less than 100 million naira each. Each? Nothing less than 100 million naira each. So, 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 we just wasted 400 about million 500. naira. Yeah, about 500. About Not five. Less than that, I'm telling you. That's about six hundred thousand dollars. That's it. He just wasted, yeah. Wow. And the thing is that I don't even believe that he's going to fix this road. I don't believe he's going to do that. This is someone that struggled to for seven years. It's just towards the end of uh, President Buhari's tenure that he rushed to complete a few projects which are present commission, and the projects were even what funded by World Bank. It wasn't even out of his own. Uh, state treasury so i don't think he's going to fix them and like i said i worry about the rainy seasons because what i have just done was just put the laterite back i couldn't compress it because some of these roads all these roads the ayabelo port have existed for over 30 years do you understand he didn't make this road they've existed two of them are highway one of them the one leading to the one the one leading to on those states because my Ihima shares boundary with Ondo State. He cut that road off at 9 p.m. That road, as a little girl, it used to be called the Old Lagos Road. Anybody who knows, before Aochi became an option, that was the road people would take when driving to Lagos because you just connect from here, from Ihima to um, Ikare or War, and then that's it, Akure. So he cut that road off last night. We had oh. to fix it 5 a.m. this morning. We moved our equipment before they woke up. Wow. Yeah. Oh, let me send you the video of the, of the road as we fixed this morning. Hey! Oh, well, Niger, did, Niger, Niger did give me vibe. Anyway, um, Yahaya Bello, my live is available for you if you want to come and explain what's going on. I always like to be two-sided. I don't like to be... I'm checking it now. And I also want to hear from Yahaya Bello. Let him also come to the live. Your Excellency Yahaya Bello, come and tell us why you cut the road. Or is it you that cut the road? Come and tell us. Come and explain to us. That's the road. Because uh, you can see that's 
we covered it up at 5 a.m. this morning. That's wow. 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 So what he did was that just in case there's chaos, we would not have anywhere to run. The only exit would be through Okeni, that is through his own town. And let me tell you this, we are hearing rumors, and most of the rumors I've heard have always come true. But this is what they said, that he knows he's going to lose, but then he is going to deal with everybody at that. So he's going to uh, get a lot of guns on the streets. And then while people are celebrating my victory, they will just come killing people. That's what they said. So ah. um, it makes sense because maybe that is why he's cutting all the exit routes. Because let me say this. The route from this one that we just fixed, the one connecting my village to Ondo State, has nothing to do with INEC. There's no INEC office there. So why did he cut it? That's because he wants to trap me. Do you understand what I'm saying? The, the, the road that connects Right with Ina office is Obai Gede Road. That's the one, the first three he caught at night. But the other ones have nothing to do with INEC. It's just to entrap me so that I will have no escape route in terms of emergency. Because if anything goes on now, I can decide to run to Undo State. Do you understand? There are others, but he cut them all off. He wow. Cut them all off. But we had to fix that one just in case. That's the Undo one. And we have three more to fill up this night. And we are seriously. If you are a member of the security agencies, please, we know you have done your very best. You have all come on Yaya Bello, but he has been stubborn and he's been uh, quite rebellious. He refused to heed to the, the, the national, what's called the headquarters call, when I mean headquarters, the national security advisors, the DSS, the IG of police, the, the naval staff, defense staff here. Yaya Bello has, they've all tried to call him to order, but he's refused to listen to them. So we do appreciate you all, but just don't give up on us. We are human beings, and we all deserve to have a chance to a free and fair elections. So please, we would call also on the prayer. Time after time, made videos um, informing Nigeria of their right to choose whoever they want to vote for across party lines. You have said that, Mr. President, and that's what we're trying to do. And I think uh, for any governor to want to cow everybody to voting people in his own party, APC, that's wrong. That's wrong. That takes away the freedom of choice, freedom of expression. Mm. So we have to Nigerians, thank you so much. Like, if not because of social media and the fact that you all are there to retweet, to make comments and make your contributions, would have just been killed here for nothing. So I can't even imagine the times of, uh, you know, all those maybe like 20, 30 years ago, how people were deprived of airing their concerns, you know, in times of trouble. What kind of lives? How, how was democracy then? So we just appreciate the advent of technology and how well our youths and people are keyed into it. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. So may God be with you and um, may God guide Amen. God and protect you. This one, don't pass ordinary, you, you understand. You. So just be careful, just be extra careful, um, especially yeah. since you're there with your baby. Mm, me, yeah, mm, sure. me but I like the fact that you have mind. I saw right, Chief, right Chief was now, looking good. I also told to be careful that he might throw a bomb. You know how sometimes they just like throw things? We've had all sorts, so we're always on guard. I, I'm wearing glasses because my eyes are swollen. I pretty much didn't sleep at night. I'm just like waiting for any sound or anything. So that's how we've been living here. So I'm also aware that um, they are planning to plant some bombs in some houses near the polling units. Uh, but what we are going to do is we're aware that some security agencies will go scoop the place up before I move in. Mm. So that's it. All right. Um... On edge. Anything can happen. All on right. Edge, anything can happen. But the good thing is that the story is all out. And if anything should happen to Natasha, Nigeria, should, if anything should happen, if there's any attack against me, it's the Ayat Bello straight on. Hmm. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. 
that's it. Okay. Um, of course, um, my platform is open to Yahaya Bello if he wants to come and tell his own side of the story so it will not look like that if he does not hear from both sides. I always try to I always try to be as plain as possible. Um, but this doesn't sound right. And if the government claimed responsibility for digging up the road, I'm, then I'm worried. Um, but like I said, um, what I want the most for the country tomorrow is a safe election. Um, yes. let everybody go and cast their votes for whoever they deem fit and may the best man or woman win win Natasha yes and I'm so looking forward to be there because I need to show you all what women can do that we do have a lot of good capable charismatic competent women so I'm doing this not just for myself but for all women <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was Natasha um, Uduagan. Did I got that? Did I get that correctly? Natasha Akpoti Uduagan. Uh, uh, you are not leaving your father's name okay. because Natasha Akpoti. Now I know him, but now you Uduagan. <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for joining, and let's hope for thank a you. nice and safe. Thank you so much. You've been a brother to me. I appreciate you. Thanks for looking out for me. Oh my goodness, I love you so much, and the whole Freeze Nation. Thank you so. Much. Oh, you guys rock. Eh? Oh, <laughs> love you too, sis. Take care. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. I have to go join my political. Oh, yeah. Straight away. Straight away. Straight away. Sure. Go and do the magic. Bye, Nigerians. I love you. Thank Bye. You. <laughs> Bye. Um, how do I end this now? I'll end it from here. Don't worry. <laughs> All right. Strong woman she indeed is. Ah, that was Natasha Akpoti. Uh, Uduagan, um, like I said, I like to hear from the Kogi state government as well. Let's hear your side of the story. Why are you guys digging up roads? Uh, did you dig up roads? You you come and tell us um, what it all is. And I'm right here. If you're watching on TikTok, big shout out to Babies. Oh, thank you so much. You're my number one and number two gifter. Um, ah. Now only you be number one, two, and three. You. Hey, by B for B E S S. Thank you so much. Uh, who's gonna help me make my speedboat? Anybody that buys me a speedboat, I will follow. So I, I want to follow. That's my target. I need to get five speedboats tonight. Support me. Help me make my target on TikTok. Get me five speedboats. Um, I'm going to follow the first person. I'm going to tell everybody watching to follow the first person to get me a speedboat. Oh, yeah, make that happen. In the meantime, if you're watching from, uh, on TikTok, let's make this happen. Come to TikTok. I mean, sorry, come to Facebook. Oh, yeah, Facebook people. It is your turn now. Search for Daddy Freeze on Facebook. Remember, they heal everybody. Wake up, join me live for Facebook. Oh. D A W D Y F R W E Z E. Join me live on Facebook. Scroll to today's video. This is what the video looks like. Click on the video. Scroll to the bottom left hand corner. You will see how to buy stars. Let's do this. I'm closing the live in five minutes exactly. I'm closing this video in five minutes exactly. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, send me your gifts on TikTok. Follow B for B E S. And I'm waiting for the first person to get me a speedboat. I want a speedboat on TikTok. I want a speedboat. I want a speedboat on TikTok. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Normally, I don't come live on Fridays. So, um, you're going to see me again, hopefully, tomorrow morning. Uh, we're going to be talking about elections and what's going on. We're going to try to keep it as calm as possible. Um, may tomorrow be a successful day, and may we all be blessed with peace and safety. Okay, all of you blocking your friends and your neighbors 
for not supporting the person you want to support. Hmm. Just know that that's how they did during Buhari's time. Oh. That's how they did. Say Baba, say Baba, say Baba. It turned rough before you know it now. Hmm. Hey, hey, me, I don't talk my own. No, make no make enemy on top politics. So, all these people, they are brothers and friends. Now you go lose. Oh, uh -huh. no, follow your papa fight. No, follow your wife fight. One guy sent me a message that he wants to divorce his wife for supporting Tinubu. That can you imagine what nonsense? That how can a young woman support? I say, don't spoil your marriage because you want to. Huh. I say, who are you supporting? Say, supporting Atiku. I even think saying one saying they support show or any of it. You they support Atiku, come the vex the person who they support in you know? <laughs> No spoil your marriage, you own one name. Ah, now Mumu Yan, where you young be that too? <laughs> Say Baba. Ah, now don't talk my own, I don't go. Excel Opuaru, thank you so much for sending me 530 stars. Big shout out, big, big shout out to you. Go to Facebook. Go to Facebook and buy stars. Go to Facebook. All right. Person won't divorce him why? Because she support Tinubu and him they support Atiku. Now wait till I wake up the here this morning. I can't, now you make me put that post. Oh, you think so now because of Peter Obi? No. You know even consign Peter Obi. Now Atiku Tinubu. The husband they support Tinubu. Sorry, they support Atiku. In wife they support Tinubu. In don't say the moment they of office open for monday saying they go fire for divorce i just they look the guy i say we confirm Okonu. you won't leave your wife on top to nobu atiku even if your wife supports peter obi or you support tinobu you know rich fight support whoever you want to support it is a democracy democracy means people have rights Please. I beg you guys. Eh? People have rights. All right, guys. So thank you so much, all of you, for supporting me on uh, TikTok. If you're watching on Instagram, please go to Facebook and buy stars. Um, support the channel. I love you guys. You guys are amazing. We're going to come live tomorrow again. Take good care of yourselves. Someone said, vote for your conscience. Vote your conscience. Person we no get conscience. We think we can't do. They say, vote wisely. Waiting we move on do. You will not wise. You won't begin to vote wisdom. I don't follow you day there. Anyway, me, I don't log out. Waiting concern me. Take good care of yourselves, guys. Look forward to seeing y'all later. Alligators. Bye, Debbie Mysticness. I haven't seen you in a while. I should call you one of these days. Take care, guys. Take care. I wish you all luck. If you're supporting Tinubu, if you're supporting Atiku, if you're supporting Showore, if you're supporting anybody you're supporting, I wish you all good luck. Um, is there anything anybody wants to say so I can quickly go and swim with my baby? A lot of people are, are tired of, of the way they do, um, they run elections in this country. Now, wow. So, guys, please remember, always be safe. Always be safe. Thank you, all of you. DJ Bongoli is right here. So he has a message for the youths. Let me post it now. I should have posted it since. Good day, everyone. My name uh, is um, Ayodhya Bakari. Okay. Um, uh, oh, it's on Insta blog now. 15 minutes ago, why I ordered the excavation of several roads in my state just a few hours to general election. Kogi State Governor, Yahaya Bilu, in the Insta blog. <laughs> so don't be lying. Oh boy, now wow. <laughs> Inside is our democracy. 
Y'all more, man. I'm on. Hey, <laughs> yeah. I've never been this weak before. Okay, guys, so all right, guys. Thank you so much. Take good care of yourselves. Thank you for all of you who supported me. I appreciate you all. See you guys later.